Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're here in Adventure Quest Worlds. We're gonna be talking about the Adventure Quest Worlds news. So all the new stuff that comes out every week, every Thursday, we talk about it. Today includes a class. What what week doesn't include a class these weeks? I remember back in the day, there was no no new classes. They didn't release a class every week. That wasn't a thing. But uh, we're, we have a few upcoming classes later this month, and we'll talk about that in this video. Alright, if you want to look as good as I do in Adventure Quest Worlds, check out my last video. It'll be in the top right hand corner up there, up there, up there, uh, somewhere, in the, somewhere, somewhere up in the corner. I, I don't know where it is, but it'll be in the card in the top right hand corner if you want to watch the last video. How to get this hood. And I think that my armor is now officially rare. It is. It is. So Dark Caster, the Dark Dark Caster, whatever this is called, Black Caster, I think they called it, is now rare. So the set is even better now. So this helmet I'm wearing is not rare. You can find it in the top right-hand corner. First, a little bit of news coming at you. Quibble this week. So we all know that Quibble's coming. A lot of people assume that a Legion token farming pet is coming with Quibble, although we've had no confirmation. Uh, zero confirmation. Now, they'd be silly not to. Uh, I'm sure people will buy ACs just to get a Legion token farming pet, uh, and they've released them in every Quibble for uh, Frostfell in previous years to my knowledge so I don't know why they would not include one this year and he, as you can see this one looks like it but Elena confirmed that this uh, version of the pet is a bank pet and they've not shown us any other art for this pet uh, which would uh, coincide with the Legion token farming pet so I guess we'll be we'll have a surprise tomorrow if it does come out and if it doesn't then uh, keep your expectations sort of low okay uh, just just putting that out there because I see a lot of people assuming that a farming pet's coming out, but nothing's been confirmed, and uh, you don't want to assume off rumor. All right. So other than that, the other gear he is here. <coughs> Look, <laughs> the other gear is here. I don't know what just happened. So this stuff is confirmed to be there's some member and non-member stuff. That's about that. Uh, some other stuff coming in quibble. We have this set of armor. Looks interesting, like Assassin's Creed sort of look in armor. A coin quibble pet, maybe? Is that like the bank pet for this year, maybe? Um, and two staffs with Nolgath and Dage in them. Elena actually has one of those staffs equipped on her character right now. What else do we have? We have these little uh, daggers? Or maybe it's a sword. I don't know. The pink Baleen gear coming in the Quibble tomorrow, so very interesting. These are of course recolors of previous items, recolored to the color pink, and uh, some cool stuff here. I really like that helmet right there, definitely going to be getting that. Limited quantity. Limited quantity shops. Next Friday, not this Friday, not tomorrow, but next Friday, we're going to have some limited quantity shops, including this set. This set, the black, there's a black version of it, which looks very nice, very, very nice. So those will be in the limited quantity shop, probably for ACs. We don't know. Now, this armor, I really like it. The artist is Mehmet. Mehmet does a really good job on the armors. I really love the gold trim. I hope, I wish they would do gold trim on more uh, different armors. But this gold All trim. Right. So, very nice. this is confirmed to be drops. The reward drops from this week's. Frozen and Frost Death Knight sets look very cool. Actually, I like the uh, I'm not a big fan of plate armor, but they do kind of have like that Dage look to them with these uh, teeth all over the armor. They look very nice. I like them, and uh, I might I might wear them if I get some of them from a drop. So uh, this is this Friday's event. Uh, that's the boss we'll be fighting. Very nice. I like how they <laughs> recolored the AQ.com thing to blue. Uh, attention detail. I like it. The Last Airbender coming to Adventure Quest Worlds. I don't know if this is uh, something that I think it looks like he just photoshopped that on there. Like that's not actually part of the armor, but maybe. <laughs> I doubt it though. But uh, it looks pretty cool. The armor itself, of course. Uh, the lines, the, the weird color lines. I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's the accessory color custom. Uh, so that might be coming to the game. 
just thought I'd throw it. I like to throw in random armors I find on Twitter because, you know, sometimes they are very interesting. So, it's very, very quick. There was not a lot of news this week, of course. Um, here is the Frostfell 2016 release lineup. We've gone through this in previous videos, of course. Uh, but I thought I'd go through it one more time just for people that haven't seen it. So, we're... This is tomorrow. Quibble Coin Biter and the part one of the new event on the 23rd. Very close to Christmas. Uh, we're having part two. The 2016 limited quantity sets and 72 hour Frostfell rare drop. I'll make a video on that when it's out. Uh, so you guys can be notified when that comes out. And uh, two times to all boost, which means if you need to farm class points or reputation in an area, that would be the time to do it. On December 30th, we're having Frostfell Part 3, the final confrontation, so ending the three part saga. And the Glacial Berserk class for rep or AC. So a class and a finale are coming out on the 30th. The Glacial Berserker class. We have no information on the, gla on the Glacial Berserker class. We have the art for it. Here's the art. But that's all the information we have on the class. Sorry about the weird cuts. <laughs> okay, so now. Why you clicked on this video? You want to hear my thoughts, I guess, on the Nolgath class, Void Warlord. So, it's not, I don't really hide that I'm not the biggest fan of like the traditional Nolgath stuff. I like the colors, but you know, the sharp edges and stuff. Not a fan really of the art style that much. Some of the, uh, some of the gear is good, but uh, not a fan of the majority of it. But, it's a class, and I'm definitely interested in a new class. So... This is the only official confirmation we have on the class, other than them saying that it's going to come out. Uh, the Nolgath Void Warlord class currently in development will be farmable for all heroes after Deadly asks if it'll be non-member and stuff. So, we have confirmation that it will be for all the heroes in the game. Non-member, member, everything like that. So, I saw that everyone was recommended. I watch, recommending I watch this video. I haven't watched it. Um, but I did ask where he got his information from. Actually, I did watch a few seconds of it. Um, but, so, he told me he found it on Reddit. So, okay. He found it on Reddit. He didn't tell me where on Reddit. So, I went and did my own research. I found, uh, someone replied to me. Thank you, the person that replied. Uh, gave me the link to this imager. And that, is, I guess, is where he got the information. He went straight up telling me where he found it for some reason. So here is where the information, I guess, came from. So it's only uploaded seven hours ago. Uh, so and uh, the person that gave it, the link to me said that they found it on like a Facebook page somewhere. So there's so there's a long rabbit hole you could go down on where this uh, information originated from. Uh, but I don't think that really matters too much. I mean, having a source is good. Uh, it definitely wasn't confirmed. This is not confirmed information I'm giving you right now in any sense of the word. Uh, so it's nowhere near confirmed. Uh, Sly, which is a staff member, I guess. I don't... With the pink name. Or the... Not pink name. I'm oh, colorblind. Let's make a quick video about it. Alright, the gold name. <laughs> uh, posting these screenshots. I wonder why he's posting these screenshots. Uh, maybe this was me meant to be shared privately or something. I don't know why these screenshots exist or if this is like legit stuff. But, uh, like, this could be changed. Nolgath's birthday is in early January or early to mid-January. So, I think it's the 16th or the 13th or something like that in January. So, there's a lot of time before this class comes out. Like, another, almost a month. Uh, if it does come out on his birthday, like a lot of people are thinking it will. Which has not been confirmed, to my knowledge. Uh, but here are, the, like, you can read this, of course. If you have the house, it'll be faster. The nation house. A little bit faster no, not that much but a little bit faster and uh, yeah it's just that's basic information so if you want to start farming for this stuff you can although this isn't confirmed so take it with a grain of salt I just thought I'd share that information with you guys thank y'all for watching this video about Adventure Quest news I'll be back here next Thursday to share the news on Adventure Quest next Thursday also we do this every Thursday Tomorrow I will be streaming the event at 3.30 PST, uh, the new Quibble gear, uh, stuff like that. Hopefully there's a Legion Token Farming Pet we can try out tomorrow too. If there is one, I will do a review about that on my channel, uh, tell you whether or not it's worth your ACs. 
And uh, yeah, check out some of the other videos on my channel, including the last video I uploaded, or the uh, one about the 6000 AC class I currently have equipped. If you want to learn more about that, check those out on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Alright, Craig and Bam, it's time to go farming. We gotta get this new class. We gotta get the stuff for the new class. Ah! Welcome to the outro of the video. If you haven't seen my last video, it'll be in the top right hand corner of your screen. Go ahead and click the card up there. That'll bring you to the last video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post a lot on Twitter. If you're not ready to contact me, my DMs are always open on Twitter. So you can feel free to contact me there. And Facebook is where I post all my videos. So if you use Facebook and want to keep up with my videos, following me there is definitely a good thing to do. I'll see you guys all in the next.